Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy ZHD, and today I'll be showing you why Python is such an easy programming language. Uh, I'll just be, uh, today I'll just create a basic script that will literally allow you to make a quiz. It won't be anything super complicated like, like I said, this will just be a simple tutorial just to show you how easy Python can be and to show you that Python doesn't have to be, or just generally programming doesn't have to be this this thing that only the smartest people can do. It's very simple, it's just when you see code online, the code that makes websites, it looks complicated because it's just complex, it takes time to create things like that. Whereas what I'm gonna show you today is something that, to be honest, it can take you five minutes. But obviously the tutorial, the tutorial is probably not five minutes because I probably go into detail to show you what things do just so that you're not clueless after you've, after you've learned how to code. So the first thing you're going to do is search Python into your Google and you're going to click the first link and here you're just going to drag your mouse over download and just download the newest one for your, uh, uh, for your operating system. So as you can see it gave me Windows and if you're on Apple it will probably say if you, uh, for Mac and if you're on Linux it will probably say for Linux and if it doesn't you can just click on all releases or you can select it here. Okay, so once you've installed it and we went through the process, which I'm not going to go through because I've already installed it, you're going to go into your search bar, depending on your operating system, that can be different, and you're going to type in idle. And that, this is uh, this is the most important thing of your Python uh, uh, code. Uh, this is the thing that actually outputs everything that you'll see. So you don't write code in here, but you can. So you can go, for example, print, and then open and close in brackets, and inside that, you're going to go speech marks and hello world. I'll increase the uh, font size in a second. And as you can see, you get hello world. So you can do single line code, but single line code is, isn't going to create a, a massive piece of software. It's not going to make Google 2.0. So for what you're going to do now is going to hold down control and N on your keyboard. Or for uh, Apple, I believe it's a command. But yeah, it's universal. And once you're here, uh, I'm just going to quickly uh, change my configure my idle. You don't have to do this unless you feel like it, unless you want to make your text much bigger. I'm just going to do it so it's easier for you guys to see my text when I'm typing. So, it looks like a text document. And that's kind of what it is. So, what do we do now? We want to make a quiz. So to make a quiz, we're probably going to want to introduce the user to, to our program. So we're going to use the function that I just did just a second ago. We're going to write print open and close brackets and inside that speech marks and inside the speech marks let's just say hello welcome to my quiz explanation mark there we go you can write anything in there and let me now go over what we just did so the print is a built-in function into Python. Most programming languages have these, and it's different for every programming language. But in Python, we write print to show anything on our screen. And if we actually run this, which you can go run and then Python uh, and then run module. But for me, I'm just going to click F5, and it's going to ask you to save. And when it's going to ask you to save, it's just going to tell you to save it somewhere because this isn't important. I'm just going to save it randomly, and I'm just going to save that. As you can see, when running it, it ran. Hello, welcome to my quiz. Okay, so why do we need the speech marks? You may be wondering. And that's because this makes it text, or in pro programming, known as a string. So the similar thing, we can go print, and inside the brackets, instead of a string, we can write a number. This will now be an integer. And if we add a point to it, that is now a float. But that's really irrelevant for what we're doing today. But it's something that you should probably know, and I'll show maybe in a later tutorial when I'm going more uh, in depth over over how Python works. Hmm. So, okay, so we got this. Uh, let's get somebody's name. We want somebody's name, right? We want the name of the person who's taking our quiz. We want to be able to interact with that person. So we can create a variable, which is kind of like, imagine it as a storage cabinet, uh, which you put things into it. So we're gonna call this name, right? And we're gonna go namespace equals, so it, the equals assigns whatever we put after it to name, and let's say we're gonna want them to give um, us their name, so we're gonna write input, and then open and close in brackets, and inside that we're gonna make a string, and then inside that string, which is our text, like this, uh, discussed earlier, and we're gonna write, what is your name? And then space, and I'll show you why we added that space now. So if we click Control Save, and then F5, as you can see, where it asks us to write our name, there's a space there, right? We can't we can't use our arrow keys right here. 
or only let us write here. And we did that so we don't have to, so it just looks nice is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, so we're going to enter our name and we're going to go uh, Joe and the code finishes. Why does it finish? And that's because we obviously don't have anything added in. That's big brain movements right there. Okay, so we're also going to add a question mark there, if you wish. You can write anything you wish into these inputs. So now we're going to display the first question. Okay, so we're going to go print and then inside the brackets and inside our string, what is 2 plus 2? And you obviously can change the questions to whatever you want. And let's do a question mark. And as you can see what we did here, instead of adding print to get input, we did input. So why are we doing print here? And that's a good question. Why are we writing print? Exactly. So now we're going to replace that with input instead, just how we did for name. And before the input, we obviously have to assign it to a variable. So let's just make an answer variable. Space equals space. There we go. Following along? I hope so. Okay. So now, uh, okay, so we, we got the answer. Uh, how do we check whether their answer was correct? Very good question. So we use something that is an if else statement. If checks if that thing is correct or true, do the next thing. If it's not, else do the next thing. So if our answer that they gave us is equal to 4, which is the answer of 2 plus 2, we're going to put semicolons to indicate that we want to now uh, finish the if statement and enter. And as you can see, there's now an indent. So let's just write print as a test print. And inside that, correct. So why do we have the indent? So the indent is basically anything in this one indent is going to be under this. Uh, and I'll go more into depth when I go into a more complicated tutorial uh, later on. But obviously, like I said, this is just the most simple way to make a quick quiz. And that's actually how I learned how to code. Okay, so now let's press enter twice and just go down. So we're going to click, as you can see, I was I was here. And I just clicked backspace to go back, uh, back uh, in then. And I just clicked another enter. And let's just click, uh, type in else. And now we're going to write nothing after else except for a semicolon. And we're going to click enter. And we're going to print... incorrect okay so let's run this now I'm gonna click F5 what is your name my name is Joe uh, what is 2 plus 2 that's obvious it's 4 oh why is our answer incorrect and that's a good question I return to uh, what we defined at the start we have strings we have integers which are numbers and we have floats which are decimal numbers so that means what you entered here is a string but this is an integer so a good way to fix that at the beginner level is just to create this into a string. And then if the string answer here is four and the real answer string string answer is four, it will print correct. So now if we click F5 and save, we're gonna type in Joe again, and we're gonna type in four. As you can see, this time it's correct. And this is how easy it is. Okay, let's add points. Okay, okay. So at the beginning, let's define points. And we're gonna go points equals and zero you start off with zero points and if you get the answer correct so we're going to click on here uh, after print and we're going to click enter and we're going to go uh, point equals points plus one and you can do that to add one but there's a more efficient way of doing it so instead of doing equals so let's just delete that and go back to points you can do plus equals space one and that will now add to whatever this is, it will add whatever is after it. So if it was 10, it would add 10 to that zero, which is an integer, so it will do maths and make that 10. But here we're just adding another point for getting it right. And if it's incorrect, we're going to go points, take away, subtract, equals 1. We're gonna, you're going to lose a point when you get something incorrect. And if you want to add another question, we're just going to highlight that. And do control copy or command copy or right click copy. Just gonna enter a few lines and then paste that in using control V or you can right click and paste. And let's change, uh, and also we're gonna have to copy this as well. Copy that. And then let's change the question. So instead of 2 plus 2, we're gonna go 1 plus 1. And our answer is gonna be 1. And obviously, this doesn't have to be math, so we can, we can do something like. Uh, which country is London in? 
and then our answer can be England and then if we get it correct we get plus one point and if we get it wrong incorrect so now we want at the end of our quiz to display the output uh, how much points did you get so we're going to go down to the very bottom of our code we're going to enter a few times obviously click backspace to get back to the first indent and we're just going to type in print brackets and inside that string we're going to write you and then we're going to uh, type in their name so name you scored points okay but let me tell you one thing that won't work that won't actually get the variables that we defined here what we need to do is delete this and we're actually going to type in the variables inside first so we're going to go name so we're going to go if your name is Joe we're going to go Joe you scored this many points so we're going to go Joe, uh, name comma now the string you scored then outside that string another comma points and you can add another comma points like that and if we can save that and if we print that uh, let me just close that out so yep so we get a clean one there we go and what is your name my name is Joe uh, our answer is gonna be for uh, England correct Joe you scored two points and I'm telling you guys this is how easy it is to make a quiz there are obviously some things that I skipped over and didn't fully explain and this is where it leads me on to my next point if you don't know something in Python all we have to do is search it it's very it's simple or on their website you can click on their documentation and if you hover your mouse over it and click the 3.x docs which is the Python version we're using everything is listed here and this is quite hard to read if you're a beginner so you can also use the Google search function which is an amazing thing so what can we type in <clears throat> let me think let me think let me think how to create lists in Python okay and then okay let's spell that correctly and then in Python programming a list is created by placing all elements inside the square bracket okay let's click on that that's something I would like to know oh okay let's accept that and as you can see it shows you exactly how to do this so my video here wasn't it was less of a tutorial and more of a showcase on how easy Python can be and how people overcomplicate Python for what it really is it's a very simple language and in my next video I'll go over a few more uh, data data entry points and things like that things that I didn't speak about in this video but anyway my name is Rodrigo HD and if you want me to do anything on this channel make sure to tell me in the comment section down below and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and found this helpful bye bye